Okay, now to the muck mess plaguing homeowners on Lake St. Clair. Many desperate for help asking what can be done to stop that smelly gross mass. This is a story 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell has been following for months. Today, the Army Corps of researchers were out on that water trying to get some answers. Kim spoke to them about what they plan to do over the next two years. I've been telling you the stories of people impacted by the muck taking over parts of Lake St. Clair. This week, researchers got out on the water collecting samples, trying to find out what this is and how it can be stopped. This is Boat Town, USA. Brittany Wilton works in boat sales at the Grand Point Marina in Harrison Township. Beautiful. She says customers have been talking about this. Where some used to dock on Lake St. Clair, there is now impassable muck. I hope they find out soon what is actually causing it because it's going to destroy our shoreline. When Army Corps of Engineers researchers took a boat out to gather samples in the first week of May, they found signs it is already forming larger mats of muck. The cyanobacteria are kind of like pennies in like a coin tube. And so there's like, you know, thousands of individual cells stacked up. Alyssa Calameni is a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers research biologist from Mississippi and a national expert on cyanobacteria or algae. She says the team will work to answer questions. Why is this organism now here growing? How does it impact the lake? Is it toxic? How can it be controlled? In the meantime, she suggests boaters try to make sure they don't carry it to other waterways. If you're boating in an area where there is these limbia mats, to make sure you're checking your boat, checking the props, um, to make sure you haven't transported it to another location. The study is funded with $400,000 from Macomb County and the Army Corps of Engineers. Congressman John James and county leaders say this study is a first step. This thing affects everybody in the region. Uh, this is a Great Lake state and uh, it's table stakes to make sure that we do everything that we can to protect and preserve our Great Lakes. It's a drinking water supply for many, many people. So we have to get ahead of this thing. One question I get whenever I do this story is when will we see mitigation getting rid of this organism that turns into giant, nasty mats of muck? The answer I'm told is it's going to take years, but they're working on it. In Macomb County, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Yeah, working on it. Well, hopefully it will be gone sooner than later.